So my name is Ben Sander. I'm a senior fellow at AMD in our machine intelligence and software area. Wanted to welcome you to Supercomputing 17 in Denver. A couple exciting things. So we have the Epic CPU processors. So one of the really exciting things about those is the amount of I.O. and the amount of memory bandwidth. So 128 lanes of PCIe is leadership in the industry. Eight channels of DDR really lets you get a lot of memory bandwidth into those chips. One of the exciting things people can do is in a single socket connect a lot of peripherals, a lot of GPUs and a lot of uh, NVMe or a lot of network cards to it. We're also selling and showing the Radeon Instinct cards. So that's our, our GPU line for machine intelligence. And we have a software stack that lets people run CAFE and TensorFlow on top of those Radeon Instinct GPUs. One of the systems we have is by Inventec, the Inventec P47. So that is this innovative single socket design. They've actually exposed all 128 lanes of PCIe. So we've got four GPUs plugged into that. Uh, we've got a couple NVMe drives, a couple NIC drives. So really exposing the I.O. capabilities that the, uh, the Epic processor brings to the table. So the, the kind of workloads that people can run on the P47, it's really all forms of HPC. So pretty much everybody in the convention center is pretty excited about what we're doing. So we're starting with the machine intelligence. Uh, but you can run the Gromax, the Molecular Dynamics, uh, Oil and Gas, uh, really all kinds of, uh, of HPC workloads are supported on that, that Inventec platform. So uh, TensorFlow is one of the, the most popular machine intelligence applications that's out there. A lot of people have written programs that use TensorFlow. So one of the things we're bringing to the table is TensorFlow now has a new option. You can run that on top of our Radeon Instinct cards. MIOpen is the, is the library at the core of that that really delivers a lot of the performance. So over the last few months, we've done uh, a lot of performance tuning on MIOpen to optimize the convolutions and the other primitives that are really critical for high performance machine learning applications. One of the things we're doing is a, is a close partnership with Baidu uh, that we announced publicly. So uh, Baidu is helping us to, uh, to tune and optimize our machine learning stack for the kind of applications that they see as important. So a couple things in Rockham. So we talked about TensorFlow, which is a very popular machine intelligence framework. Not everybody uses TensorFlow. So there's a couple other applications out there. CAFE2, PyTorch, MXNet, CNTK, a couple different frameworks. So we'll be bringing support for those other frameworks on top of the Rockham platform. Uh, continuing to tune the libraries, MIOpen and the, the math libraries. So those will continue to get faster over time. Uh, we're also looking at uh, a page migration support inside the Rockham driver, which will automatically move memory from the host to the GPU device. So those are all things that are coming after Rockham 1.7. So with the demo here, mostly what you hear is a lot of noise. That's the, the, the fans in the, in the server, the Inventec server that we talked about. We have four MI25 GPUs in here that are going full bore. This is doing training on TensorFlow. So we have TensorFlow, the popular machine learning application, uh, training, so we're running the ResNet 50 uh, machine learning network, and uh, this is running on top of four GPUs. The scalability is really, really good. Uh, if you put four GPUs in, it runs almost four times as fast as one GPU. Uh, the performance we have is very competitive with the P100. So we have a competitive performance with excellent scaling, running in a very popular machine intelligence framework. Thank you for stopping by. Uh, we'll see you next year in uh, SE18 in Dallas, Texas. Thank <laughs> you.